let's turn our bibles to luke chapter 6 hallelujah luke chapter 6 and verse 43 and it's nice to choir thank you for being amazing you know thank you for always because some of you always even get to bless us around you always rotate some of you next level you're you're always blessing us there thank you so much thank you our music director you know thank you thank you i've not seen gbs in a long time but it's nice to see you praise the lord hallelujah glory to god well this year your album is coming out praise the lord so yeah so finally our first worship album is coming out this year and it's going to come out exactly before october praise god hallelujah it's going to come out exactly before october praise god hallelujah all right let's turn in our bible to Luke chapter 6 and look at um verse 43 so yesterday I, I know that it was streamed in here we began to talk about how god changes us by the word how god changes us by the word and if you miss the message you want to go back and go and watch the message but now i, I want to show you something that you know so yesterday we, we said that the word the word is a seed the word is a seed and how do we plant the seed the bible said the so i saw what the word how do we plant the seed by speaking it we plant the seed by speaking it and the other thing we said was this so the word is the seed so if you want any kind of change how exactly do we do that by what by the seed if if i'm barren and i want to have a child and god wants to change that how does he change that by the seed which is the word if i'm struggling financially and god wants to change that how does he change that by the word the reason i'm saying so is that because we have a prayer ministry most people just think all i have to do is to pray that's one of it but before you get to pray you got to soak soak it remember from yesterday do what soak it because if you don't soak it it will be hard to wash the prayer will become very troublesome if you don't soak it you don't know what soak it is go back to yesterday's on youtube so you have to soak you have to soak how do you soak you soak in the word that's how you sow frank you need to help me my microphone is moving up and down so you have to soak so the word is a seed we plant the seed by speaking and we began to talk about yesterday very powerful concept here and we talk about how the word of god sometimes will take the time to manifest it's take his own cycle to manifest and we say even at manifestation the bible says you must put in what the sickle let's open to mark chapter 4. let me just show you that quickly let me just show you that quickly because this is one of the things i never really um i never i never emphasized and some people could have missed it the bible says in verse 28 and when the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself first the blade then the air and the full corn are in the air the bible says in verse 29 and when the fruit is brought forth watch this now immediately he put in the sickle then because the harvest has come so what does that mean even when there is a harvest you must put in the sickle and i began to explain to you that the sickle means there will be a connecting idea there will be a connecting concept that you will have to do to pull it in and let me use the story of um, andrew womack and this i saw from andrew womack andrew womack said that um he was it was a ministry and he was praying for finances and as he prayed and prayed and prayed for finances one of the things that happened was i wasn't coming but was using his faith and he got to a point he felt as if this is a season that my finance should really be there and as he prayed god began to show him that in ministry finance respond to impact finance respond to impact and if it was only impacting 100 people that is how limited his finance will be he said when he saw that from the bible he said the sequel was for him he made up his mind to develop resources and make his resources available to more people he said as soon as he did that his income just jumped up but that idea came because it was the time of the harvest and it was a sickle so there are people that are here right now that are running the business and you've sown your seed and you're believing god and all of those things and the sickle can be a simple instruction now go into aggressive marketing and that instruction is the connecting thought that instruction is what the connecting thought for it to happen 
The connecting thought can be go into a partnership with somebody. The connecting thought can be go and see your mentor, go and see your uncle. But what happened is that when people are there in the time of harvest, they forget that they have to put in the sickle. The sickle is what you have to do to bring in the harvest. So it's good to emphasize that because in this meeting, and this is how you know you have faith that you're doing something. This is how you know you have faith that you're saying something. This is how you know you have faith that you're believing something. So the question this night is this. When you leave this place, will you be able to put in the sickle? That's what I'm saying. Will you be able to put in the sickle? Will you be able to put in the sickle? Glory to God. Luke chapter 6 in verse 43. Luke chapter 6 in verse 43. Glory to God. Luke chapter 6 in verse 43. So this is what the Bible says. For a good man bringeth forth, watch this now. For a good free bringeth forth, bringeth forth not corrupt fruits, neither doeth a corrupt tree bringeth forth good fruits. For every tree is known by its own fruit. But of thorns men do not gather figs, and of a bramble bush gather, gather not grapes. See what it says. So it was saying something powerful here. Everybody take note of this. He said, the results you have in your life is a function of the heart of what's happening in the heart. He said, the outward conditions is a function of the inward condition. So someone says, I'm broke. You are not broke because of outside, outside circumstances. You are broke because of internal circumstances. Someone says, I'm not married. You are not married. Not because of their outside circumstances. It's because of internal circumstances. What happens to people is that people try to dress and address outer circumstances not understanding that the root of those things come from the inside so jesus christ says when you see the fruit the fruit see when you see the fruit and you keep cutting the fruit it's a waste of time because the root is on the inside what you have to do is to go back on the inside and do it's an inside job praise god what you want to do is an inside job so if you are not married right now and you want to get married and the next thing you start doing that they say that because i don't go out very well because i don't dress very well you now start be going boob to top and you begin to go everywhere it still does not mean you will marry because what is changing on the outside what will make the real change happen is on the inside if you are here and you're struggling financially and they say the reason we are struggling is because you don't have skill you go out and get skill it's a great thing to get skill but you will still find out that with the skill you have gotten you still cannot go ahead because the first thing that must change must be internal all the other things will matter and make progress when the internal has changed glory to god so see what the bible says luke chapter 8 6 verse 45 it says a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is good and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is evil and he said for out of the abundance and this is how you know what is in your heart he said, the way you know what is in people's heart is this, listen to them. He said, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. I know you are believing God for a job, but when I listen to you, what do you say? This country is very hard. There's no job for anybody. What you are saying is what you actually believe. I know that you are, you are praying and say, Father, bless me. But what is the state of your heart? Your state of the heart is that, my God, nobody wants to help anybody in this country. And that's what you're saying. And yet you are praying for helpers. And let me tell you something. Where are my seeds? Where are my seeds? Who has my seeds? Brother, you need to be closer. The seeds. I just want the seeds. Just, is that the bowl of seeds? Yeah. Yeah. This, these are just corn seeds. These are corn seeds. Just corn seeds. I, I, I think I can do with that without the, the bowl. These are, praise God. These are just corn seeds. So guess what? And I'm saying so because of this. Because when you read the Bible, you will understand something. James once said something about the seed. James once said the seed is incorruptible. What does that mean? Because it's God's word, God, God's word never fails. So the question is this, and this is what I want to help you answer. If God's word never fails, how come my finance has not changed? I've been applying God's word. If God's word never failed, how come I'm still looking for a child? I've been applying God's word. If God's, never, God's word never failed, how come I've not experienced the kind of expansion and growth I want? I've been applying God's word. Listen to me. 
Although this is the seed, and I'm just going to, there's nothing spiritual, I just want to give some people seed, you know, just, just corn seed, you know, I can just give you seed, you know, that kind of, because in this service, guess what, this is a seed meeting. As I'm, pre- as I'm preaching, what are angels doing? They're just, you know, sprinkling seed everywhere, sprinkling seed everywhere, sprinkling seed. The reason why is that they understand that the change is going to be a function of the seed. So what they're trying to do is to make sure the seed gets on the inside of you. Why? Your marriage will first come as a seed. Your promotion will first come as what? A seed. So, this evening, and what's the seed? The word. Mary asked the angel, he said, how will I get pregnant? He said, you're already pregnant? He said, how? He said, the word I spoke to you has made you pregnant. The lady that couldn't walk just now, how did she get to walk? The moment I said, be healed, inside that word heal is a seed of healing. And she received it. Are you hearing me? Some of you are still saying that. Some say, is that how people just walk? Someone that cannot walk after them. How do they walk? The power is not in the shaking. The power is the water. So, as the word is released, the seed is planted. All you have to do is to let the word grow from within. So, James 1 said something. James 1 said, look at this, this seed. He said, the seed is incorruptible. What does that mean? They are corruptible seed. They are incorruptible seed. Corruptible seeds are seed that can fail. For example, I'm using corn seed here. But when you plant corn, not every corn you plant will do well. Yes or no? The reason why is that the seed of corn is corruptible. But he now says in James chapter 1 that the seed of God's word is not corruptible. That means that if you plant 100, the 100 will bear fruits. That's so, that, that's so compelling. That to imagine that the seed of God's word does not fail. So the question is this. If the seed of God's word does not fail, how come I'm applying God's word to my finance and there's no change? How come I'm applying God's word to my, um, my, my healing issue there's no change? How come I'm applying God's word to having a baby and there's no change? How come I'm this, I, I, applying God's word to ministry expansion and there's no change? How come I'm applying God's word to getting my there's no change? How come I'm applying God's word to approval and there's no change? And this is the reason why. Please, you're going to have this. Oh, I love how you're quiet. This is the reason why there's no change. The reason why, someone says, maybe the word failed. The word doesn't fail because it's incorruptible. The reason why there's no change when you apply the word is this. Because the soil dominates the seed. What do I mean by that? The soil has the potential and the power to limit what the seed can do. How do I know? Look, Mark chapter 4. The Bible says that the seed was sown on the stony ground, on the ground with turns, on the ground that was not a good soil, and on good soil. Question, although the seed was incorruptible, did it bear fruit in other grounds? What affected the seed? The soil. The soil always affects the seed. What is the soil? The Bible says the heart, the soil is what? The heart of man. What is the heart of man? Of course, fundamentally, we understand from basic theology that the heart refers to spirit. But when you really study the Bible, you will understand the heart does mostly does not refer to the spirit. It refers to the core of man. The core of man means both the spirit, his emotions, his mindset. Most of the time, the heart refers to the core of man. For example, when you say the heart of a tree, it's not as if the tree has a heart. It refers to the core of a tree. So, what limits the word of God from up from inside? Number one, it has to do with all the things. I don't believe it has to do with all the things on the inside. The mindset, the emotion, those are the things that limit the word. Glory to God. Those are the things that limit the word. How does it limit the word? I'm praying for your husband. But in my emotions, I've been broken and damaged. And I said, I don't want to do this again. No matter the seed of marriage that you're putting inside, that emotion will limit it. I'm praying for healing. And I know that God can do it. But on the inside, by my side of my bed, and this happens to people. Like, in fact, as I'm speaking, I actually saw someone, with, I saw a vision just now. There's, there's a lady by the side of your bed, the negative report they gave you, that's where it is. And often before you sleep, that's the last thing you will look at. And let me tell you something. And you are believing God for change. Don't you realize that faith comes by hearing? Every night you are feeding your fear. You are feeding your faith and fear by looking at those things. 
and you get to a point where it's so difficult for you to believe not because God cannot do it but because down in your heart it's just difficult who knows what I'm talking about you keep looking at your phone bank a lot that reminds you that your account is 2,500 there And I want to say, and this is you believing God for 2.5 million. What will happen to you? So let me tell you, the condition of your heart, the, your, your belief system begins to limit the power of the seed. The seed has the power to change everything. But what's your belief system? The seed can change everything. What's your belief system? For example, some people came tonight. You know, the lady with the, with, with, the, with the walking seed, did you hear what she said? She said, I told myself I'm coming for wine press. Did you hear that? But some people came with no such expectation. One man told me two weeks ago, he said, Pastor, finally, that thing you pray, we prayed about has happened. I said, praise God. How much is the deal? He said, $100 million in this country. I'm not telling you booba story. I'm telling you practical story. Stories with name. And you see there's no money. It's as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, you keep holding back yourself because there's a story you tell yourself. What's the story you tell yourself? If I had people, I could have done this. If I knew people, I could have gotten the money. And those stories are in your heart, holding your seed, caging your seed, holding your seed back. The story tells that if I was younger, I could have found someone to marry me. The story says if I did not have five, but I could have gotten pregnant. The story tells you that if I was just very energetic, I could have grown and blown. But it keeps holding you back. And you must realize this. That the seed is incorruptible. What limits the seed is the condition of the heart. And let me tell you something. Everybody here has a story they believe that supports where they are. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Everybody has a story they believe that supports where they are. So when you ask someone, ah, how come you've not changed your car? They will tell you something like, oh, is it not because of the job? That this, they have a story that supports it. Uh, they say, "Why are you? They, what is happening with your with your car?" He said, "If they had promoted me last year, she be I would have gotten money to buy another car by now, because to them that car is tied to the promotion." But the Bible says, "All things is possible to him that believe it." That means if I believe, I can alter things. If I believe, I can change things. Someone says that, uh, "How come you are not married?" Say, uh, "Will I marry myself?" Uh, it, he said, will I marry myself? He said, Let, let's be realistic. Oh. Will I marry myself? Ah, I, I can't come and kill myself. Oh. You know, why do you say you can't come and kill yourself? Because you are really saying that to find someone to marry you is a dead job. And the reason why you say that story to yourself is that that story kind of helps you. It helps you feel sane. It helps you feel as if it's not your fault. It's someone else's fault. That story, the same thing. Why don't you have a job? Is it, are you not living in Nigeria? I don't live in Nigeria. I mean, have jobs in Nigeria. People that have jobs are complaining. Even people that have jobs, see, because it's a story you change or tell yourself. But this is what I'm saying to you. If things are going to change, you have to change the story first. The woman with the issue of blood had a story for 38 years. But the year she was going to receive healing, she changed her story. What was her new story? If I may touch the helm of his garment, I shall be made whole. Question, change your story. What is your story? Oh, I came from the backside of a wudu. Who do I know? What is your new story? My new story is this. That God that lifted David can lift me. Oh, glory to God. Because the Bible says he's the one that raises a poor out of the dunghill and sets him among the princes to stay. Am I talking to you today? What is your story? Oh, I'm divorced. I'm widowed. That's why I can't marry again. But have you read the story of Ruth? Naomi said to Ruth, he said, I will not, he said, he said, I will look for rest for you. What is your story? Oh, you know, I'm just a woman. You know, people don't believe in women. Have you heard about Deborah? 
What is your story? You know, if I got born again on time, you know, I would have had great life and planned everything. Have you heard about Rahab the prostitute? Rahab the prostitute. She was the only prostitute that got in the line of Jesus. The point is this. Listen, everybody take out your Byron paper. Write down the story that is holding you down. The story can be a medical report from the doctors. Please hold on. I, I need them to fix this thing. It just keeps dropping on my, from my head and come back. Glory to God. So what they're doing is write down the story that I told you. See, write your goal for this year and tell yourself what is the story that is saying I can't do this. Write it down. Let me help you. What's the story you tell yourself? It's the people from the village. Everybody has a story. Businessmen, what is your story? Why are you not hitting the first one million dollars? There's a story you tell yourself. That you know, I can't. Why can't you? There's a story that you tell yourself. If you're believing God for a test, a miracle, why don't you have the miracle? There's a story you tell yourself. In this time, I can't kill myself. It will make it beautiful. People that have a change always change their stories. I'm telling you, people that have a change always change their stories. The story is that philosophy you taught yourself that keeps you where you were. Look at John chapter 4, the man at the pool of Bethesda. The Bible says when Jesus came to him, Jesus asked him, he says, do you want to be well? He says, I have no man. That was why he has been there for 30 and 8 years. Because the story was a paralyzing story. Will you expand your business? I have no capital. It's a story you tell yourself. The moment you want to change, how do you change the story? You change the story by saying something like this. I want to expand my business and I will find capital because God is going to send me a pass that is going to provide capital. That is a change of story. You change your story by saying that, oh, the doctor said you can't have a child. So you don't expect to have a child because of the blood fallopian tube. But you tell yourself all things are possible to him that believe it. So I will carry my child because my fallopian tube will be open with or without fallopian tube. I'm going to have a child question is that what story are you telling yourself because it's a story you're telling yourself glory to god and you know what i love about god's word is this <laughs> what i love about god's word is this the moment god's word is seed to you one of the things god's word does that it changes your focus oh yeah because, because you will always have two options. Either to look at things or to look at the word. Peter had that option. As long as he was looking at the word of God personified in the person of Jesus, he was walking on water. The moment it began to look at the waves, it began to what, sink. This is why the word is important. So when things go on in life, what are you looking at? Glory to God. I said glory to God. That's so we Glory to God. Are you looking at your bank account or you're looking at the word of God? Sometimes I'm looking at the word of God. But you check your bank account more than the word of God. Are you looking at the doctor's report than the word of God? Question. Someone say, I'm looking at the word of God. Question. When you check your bank account, don't you know how much is there? When you check the word, what did you check? No, I, I'm looking at the word. What are you looking at? It's not the book we say you should look at. Look at the word. 
when I check my bank account, I know that there's two million two hundred and twenty thousand there. That's what is there. But when I check the word of God, what do I get? I don't know. You're not checking the word. You're not looking at the word. When I look at the word, I can tell you what is there. What does he say? He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. See, yeah, I'm, I'm not just saying the word. I'm saying that although I have 2.2, that that 200 I need for the next transaction, the Lord is my shepherd. I sh I'm seeing it. Hey, you just don't read it. You see it. Glory to God. Are you seeing it? Where are the businessmen that are seeing the business funded? Stand on your feet if I'm talking to you. Are you seeing the business funding? Are, are, you, are you seeing the business funding? Listen to me. If you are seeing it, you know the amount. The reason why that you cannot see what is not clear. And how do you see it? So, when I say the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I see that as a shepherd, through divine means, the 850 million I need has come together. Are you seeing it? Where's the money right now? Where do you see that? Where? What is your new balance? Aha. Aha. But the Bible says God told Abraham, as far as your eyes can see, I will give to you. Hey, everybody say, I take it. Can, can you see the contract? How do you see it? You can see the email of contract award, award. Yes. Glory to God. Can you see your marriage? Can you see your marriage? And you're walking down the aisle and Pastor Dayo is here and saying that, welcome. And we're saying, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. And all your friends are staying behind. Can you see it? Listen to me. The reason why people never see it is because they are seeing other things. So you hear, I'm now 35, there's no man. Why do they cry? Watch this now. Why do they cry? They don't cry because I'm now 35, there's no man. That's not why they're crying. Why they cry is because I'm 35, I have no man. They can see a future of loneliness and pain and shame. Why? Because their faith is in that I'm 35, there's no man and there'll be no man. When you see it, I am 35. What will you do? You will not cry your birthday. I'm not 35 years old, man. Why should you talk that way? When you see it, this is what you say. When you are 35, hey, my last birthday as a single girl. <laughs> are you hearing me? Because I'm seen by what? By faith. Somebody say amen. amen. Glory to God. You know, some wine press go. Like, we can have your seat, please. Some wine press go. There was this girl that had not seen a menstrual period for like a year or so. And during the service, she began to menstruate. And when she came on the stage, she said, Pastor, I wore my pad, even though I've not worn pad in one year. He said, Because I know that today is. You know what? When she said so, I said, my God, she had even seen it before she prayed. She was like the woman with the issue of blood. The woman said, if I may just touch the helm of his garment, he, she didn't stop there. He said, I shall be made whole. She saw it. Question, what do you see? And the way we see is by the word of God. As we meditate in the word of God, we are able to see it. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Will you receive some more? Let's get deeper. Let me show you some Bible promise. Let, I want to give you some seeds. Praise God. I, I came to give you some seed. So if this seed pertains to you, you will take it and start planting it. How do you plant it? When you go tonight, you'll plant it in your heart. Tomorrow morning, you'll plant it again. In the evening, you'll plant it again. You keep planting it. You keep planting and wandering it and day and night until the seed begins to grow. Glory to God. And that's how we've done all the things we've done. By planting the seed. Let me show you. This is so wonderful. By planting the seed. By planting the seed. By planting the seed. Oh, glory to God. I always say we're a global ministry. Even though we were just in Lagos, 
but now we're a global ministry this year we're impressed we had people from different nations i you know different nations come how many of you, I don't know if they come to here or they go to Lekki. How many from, are from outside Lagos? Wave your hands. Outside Lagos. Look at all the people here. Thank you. You can put on your hands. We have people. So, like, like this morning as I finished yesterday night I was going, one of, the, um, um, one, of the, one of the guys from the U.S. said, Oh, Pastor, I thought I was the only one from Chicago that came. He said, I found another lady that came from Chicago for wine press. Then this morning as I finished wine press, I, I turned this way and one brother ran after me. I said, wow, I didn't know you were going to come. He said, I, I, I had to buy the ticket. I come from the UK. He said, on Sunday, I'm back to the UK again. But before it happened, we saw it first. Can you see before it happened? You must understand that faith is a sight. That's what the Bible says. We walk by faith and not by sight. That means that faith can equally represent your physical sight. Glory to God. How did I know the lump would disappear? I saw it. Did you see it? You are here now. See? Check if you are here. You say, is it still there? Can, can you imagine? You are checking if it's still there. Is it meant to be there? You even say that, you know that, I, you know, give me my, you know, you know me now. It's my allergy. It's not your allergy. And the reason, see, I'm not blaming you for talking like that. The reason why is that sometimes that challenge stays for so long and you make it personal. You see more of your lonely future than your future husband. You see more of your empty bank account than your feedback account. And it's exactly what you see that happens to you. And that's why God's word is a seed because when God's word is sown in your heart, you begin to see differently. Because it's a bear and not the kind of fruits. Let me give you some promises that will help you. Are you ready? I say, are you ready? Josh Church of the 1 verse 5. All of you in business and career, this is for you. Josh Church of the 1 verse 5. Oh, glory to God. All of you contractors, do I have some contractors here that are bidding for things? Oh, do I have politicians here? Look at what the word is for you. Let's read together. Want to go? There shall not be any man be able to what? He said, if you bid for a contract, there shall not be any man be able to stand before you if you go for an interview there shall not be any man be able to stand before you somebody shout I receive it <laughs> listen to what he says he said there shall not be no, any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses so will I be with you he says I will not fail you if he doesn't fail me then I cannot fail Aha! Uh -huh. When well, you understand this, and they are bidding for a job, he will say, they say, what do you know? You say, I know everybody. Uh, why? There shall no man be able to stand before you. Are you here? Please have your seat. Huh. Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11. Determine chapter 30 verse 9. What am I doing right now? I'm spreading seeds. I'm spreading seeds. This year, no man shall be able to stand before you. See what the Bible says. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11. He said, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in droth. He said, in a recession, you'll be okay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. In a recession, you'll be okay. He said, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like what? A well-watered garden. How is your job? Like a well-watered garden. How is your business? Like a well-watered garden. How is your finance? Like a well-watered garden. How is your family? Like a well-watered garden. Somebody say, I receive it. He said, I'm like a spring of water. Whose water? Fail not. My career is not epileptic. My finance is not epileptic. I'm like a well-watered garden. When I think of my future, it's like a well-watered garden. I'm like a well-watered garden. What do you do with the word? It's seed. You begin to program yourself that way. Someone says, ah, my, my brother, everything's going to go bad. He said, not for me. I'm like a well-watered garden. Why are you talking like that? From the perspective of faith. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. They told me to the 30 verse 8. Oh, are you listening to me? All the business people, all the executive, are you listening to this? 
These are the scriptures you take to battle. You sow into your heart. Take chapter 30 verse 8. Look at what it says. T- chapter 30 verse 8. Let me make sure I have the right scripture. Verse 9 rather. Oh yeah. Look at this. And the Lord will make you plenteous. Like all rabbis. Stand up and pray first of all. Lay your hands upon yourself and declare it over yourself. Declare it that the Lord will shalababa. Lekorama sambale go mate cross the ha. The Lord will make you plenteous in every work of your hand. Shake it in the fr- Amen. Amen. Before you pray, let me help you. Listen to the scripture. He said, The Lord will make you plenteous in every work of your hands. If you have one shop, it's moving to five. If you sell one product, it moves to 10 products. If you do 10 million in sales, it moves to 50 million. Why? The Lord will make you plenteous. This is a year of plenty. This is a year of plenty. Say, I receive it. It said, The Lord will make you plenteous in every walk of your hands. Then what does he say? He said, In the fruits of your body. I'm not the one that doesn't have a child. The fruits of my body works. I'm not the one that they say I'm lacking enzymes. I'm lacking vitamin D. I'm lacking this. I'm plenteous in the fruit of my body. He said, in the fruit of the cattle. Are you hearing me? In the fruit of the cattle, in the fruits of the land, and for good. And the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good as to rejoice over your father. Lay your hands upon yourself and begin to prophesy. Garamante Kashabaramande. Let competome practice somebody else. In Jesus name Amen Please have your seat Let's move to those for relationship and marriages Psalm 34 verse 10 This is a seed sowing session So Psalm 34 verse 10 See what the Bible says Let's read one to go <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on They say there's no man to marry there's no man to marry. See what the Bible says. The young lions do lack. It didn't say they will not lack. They, there will be scarcity. Are you hearing me? There will be scarcity of good people to marry. And they shall suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Are you hearing me? He said, I shall not want any good thing. Is it man you want? You shall not want any good thing. Is it woman you want? You shall not want any good thing. The job that pays in pounds, you shall not want any good thing. The job that pays in dollars, you shall not want any good thing. Approve us, you shall not want any good thing. Somebody say, I shall not want any good thing because I'm fully supplied. That's it. The moment they're saying everything is hard, carry your load and move there. That's not your group. You are not in that group. In our group, we don't lack any good thing notice what the bible said he didn't say the young lion will not hunger he said there will be hunger he said but for those uh, that seek the lord uh, for those hey when you wake up and do next level they think you are stupid let's keep the prayer going they- in the name of jesus christ brother zakiki receive your promotion in the name of jesus christ go ahead and have your seats wow they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing if I want visa I get it if I want house I get it if it's marriage I want I get it if I want connection I get it why I shall not want any good thing hey 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 glory to God I said glory to God if it's child you want you'll get it oh glory to God look at the next verse Psalm 37 verse 4 listen as I'm preaching to you miracles are happening I'm telling you 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 can you feel the can you feel the energy of the spirits the glory of God is all over this place Psalm 37 verse 4 
See what the Bible says. The light that serve in the Lord and it shall give the, the desires of your heart. What is the desire of your heart? He said he shall give you, he shall give you without withholding. Instead of you saying, I don't know what's going on. No, I don't know what's going on. Shut up. Talk faith. He shall give you the desires of my heart. Focus on what God is doing. Focus on your faith. Don't focus on the flesh. Focus on your faith. Don't focus on the flesh. Focus on what is done. Don't focus on the flesh. It's working for me. Glory to God. So I said, people, everything is so hard to find now. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. Because I delight myself in the Lord. And it gives me the desires of my heart. Say with me, the easiest thing for me to do in life is succeed. Say with me, the most common word I will hear this year is congratulation. Say the most common word I will hear this year is congratulations. The most common word I will hear this year is congratulations. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at someone and say congratulations. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God. Rakatama sombali kadashti. Lebregedeskete. Do you want to pray in the Holy Ghost for a little? Stand on your feet, lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the, all of you, the overflow, pray in the Holy Ghost. Shake it all around, so pray the katata. Lambra de conte, celebrate, shabariga parose, epate. As you are praying, declare what you want. 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 See it, see it, see it, see it. See your healing, see your business, see the breakthrough, see the marriage, see the baby, see the child, see the healing. Go ahead, see it, see it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Ramana Krasta Kradihaya. Rama mama ma top belegeshe he took him arama sila sila ingo bose selemonte 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 bondi ki banda haya bori marakunde sabrakta sabrakte kondata imara ma kundele ikste kabarakta sha ekzik radido satanai raga matamle kosana mata amen. This year is different for you. This year is what? Different for you. Why? It will be full of ease and plenty. Please have your seats. Listen. What do you fix? You fix your heart. What's your heart? The mentality. Let me tell you what... Because the heart limits what the seed. Let me give you. Let me give you signs of polluted hearts. Let me use something simple like marriage. The moment they mention marriage, you're like, you know why? Because the heart is defiled. But that's what you're praying for. But there's a negative way you feel about it. That shows faith is not present. Why do they talk about marriage? Why do you feel bad? Why do you check out mentally? The reason is this because deep down in your heart i'm tired once they say healing you just check out and i'm telling you that the soil dominates the seed one dimension 300 million just check out and the reason why you keep checking out is this and this is why you never have the testimony because your heart is not vital enough. Your heart is a negative. And guess what? Everything that is negative times negative becomes what? Negative. When you are negative and you fast, what's your fast? Negative. When you are negative and you pray, what's your prayer? Negative. When you are negative and you sow, what's your sowing? Negative. No wonder everything you do is what? Negative. But not you. Everything you do is positive. 
because the state of your heart is good what do you do you are right so maybe we're talking about business breakthrough and you want to say oh, this is how they say last day so stop it you correct your heart you arrest it I'm talking about marriage you say you've started the game this is what they say last year you were jumping 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 this is what i see your heart is telling you it, it's it's programming you for failure you say stop it no wonder the bible says guard your heart with all diligence he said protect it mount war against the heart is he getting inside he's the seed entering ah, yeah, 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 yeah. glory to god Let's begin to close so that we can pray. Are, are you checking your body for miracles? Are you checking your emails for... <laughs> I'm telling you, I, they should not be sending an email at this time, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, we've released it. We've released it. We've released it. The approval, the contact, we've released it. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Oh, you know, when, when, when I was in Dubai, we did the meeting on Friday. Dubai doesn't work on Friday. As we prayed, one guy came forward. He said, that. He said, Pastor, I got the job as we were praying. He said, They should not send me a letter on Friday because companies don't work on Friday. It's work free day. I said, Why won't they send you? One guy have opened portals of the spirits. <laughs> glory to God. I said glory to God. Oh wow. Hebrews chapter 4. So we've spoken about the seed. We've spoken about the word. We've spoken about the need for you to take care of your heart and emotions. Some of you, as you're praying, you're, you're, you're just, just negative about what you're praying about. How can you be negative about this beautiful year? How can you be negative about good things? One they say, child, you just feel, oh my God. Oh my, oh my god oh my. and the reason why you're believing God for a child oh glory to God you know when I just said child I felt the anointing just such that I just had a jerk I don't know if you noticed it I just had a just felt the anointing just such through me and I know what that means I know what that means I know what that means a man say where's your wife lame what, is she here? Call her anywhere she has, she start coming. Lay man to cover Radihasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All of you that need to get pregnant, this is it tonight. Yeah. Someone says, How can you say that? Because I didn't send myself. The one that sent me is with me. And he honors his word. He said, he told me, freely you have received. He said, freely give. What we give, we didn't earn it. It's by grace and by the hearing of faith. How will I know the cancer will die? It's a simple thing. Because the power that is beyond the cancer is here. How do I know the tumor will leave? It's a simple thing. Because the power beyond the tumor is here. How will I know your business will do well? Because the power that breaks business barrier is here. How will I know the phone will be released? Because the power is here. Let's look at something. Let's close. I, I, I want, because now I want to close with this. How do you take it? I've shown you what the seed can do. I've given you Bible promises. I've told you take care of what? Take care of your heart. But what else do I have to do to actively take it? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. Oh, this is good. So when they came to church, they shouted, but don't mix with it. When they came to church, it was a good time. But mix of faith. Faith is powerful, sir. Hebrews chapter 11. And just see what faith can do. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Where your faith stops is where your testimony ends. Where your faith stops is where your testimony ends. Because faith is how we take delivery of what grace has done. Where your faith stops 
is when your testimony ends. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Why is faith so important? First John chapter 5. So many things to show you. First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. And see what the Bible says. Verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even your faith. What is faith? The ever winning force. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. He said there's something that always produces victory. Faith. It doesn't matter how many people are doing what you're doing. There's something that produces success. Faith. Hebrews 11. This is awesome. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Verse 2. He said, by it, by faith, the elders obtain what? When you have faith, you always get a good report. What is a good report? A testimonial report. You will just hear, they said I could not marry, but I married. Good report. Oh, they said I could not have a child, but I have a child. Good report. They said I could not break the 100 million barrier, but I broke it. Good report. He said, by faith, not by any other thing, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. You have no problem. All you need is faith in God. And that faith is producing you as a child of God. There are many potentials in the word of God. All God's children have potentials. But potentials will remain potential until faith is released. He said this is the victory. What guarantees this year will be good? He said this is it. He said our faith. What guarantees you will have a testimony? Is this same faith, sir? What guarantees you will get married? Is this same faith? What guarantees you will scale in business? This same faith. What guarantees there will be a change? This same faith. Why is faith powerful? Ephesians 6 says, Through the shield of faith, we shatter every what? Every attack of the enemy. If there's an attack on your, on your health, faith has the power to shatter it. So, as you take the word, listen to me. You need to just, not just meditate in the word of God. You must act on the word by faith. That lady with the crutches, she would never walk if she didn't walk without the crutches. When I pray for the sick, I said, do what you cannot do. If you've not seen your menstruation, you go to the bedroom and check because you are menstruating already. If you are not pregnant, you target it. By the next cycle, you check. Why am I checking? Because I know something happened. You start refreshing your email every five minutes. Why? I'm, I'm waiting the approval. Because faith is more than talk, sir. The first step of faith is to believe. That's why John 1 verse 12 says, Blessed Bible says, As many as believe, it gave the power to become. It's believing that leads to becoming. What's the first step of faith? Believing. What is believing? That it can happen to me. Many people come to church, but few people really understand it can happen to me. And it's not that it can happen to me, it can happen to me now. It can happen to me now. How many of you receive your miracle next week? Next week? Next week? You receive next week? Next week, wave your hands. Next week, wave your hands. Is it now? Luke 145. Look at what the Bible says. When you take the word, Luke 145. See what the Bible says. It says, Blessed is she that believeth. For what? performance is only committed to those that believe so a lot of people can stay in the service but performance only comes to people that believe 
So faith starts with believing. Believing that I can get out of the wheelchair. Believing that this deaf ear can be opened. Believing that this shoulder million can come through miraculously. Believing that the job can come through. The approval can come through. That change can happen right now. Instant. I'm not wishing it, sir. I'm not saying that it's, in, it's now. I believe it. Do you believe it? Look at the prophecies we read. And the Lord will make you plenteous. Do you believe it? it see, you see, believe it, he said, this is what it is for me. Oh, you know why believing is powerful? Where, where's the remote control? <laughs> I, I, I bought you one remote control. It, you know, the AC remote control. This is what your belief does. This is very powerful. Let me show you the power of believing. Your believing is like an AC remote control. When you set your AC at 18 degrees, guess what happens? It will keep cooling. When it gets to 18, it will stop. You know why? Your believing regulates what stays in your life and what goes out of your life. It's like a thermostat. The reason why you have not gotten 10 million is because you believe you cannot get it. So your believing regulates what stays and what goes out. So, if I increase the temperature right now to the thermostat to 25, you will just enter and say, why is this place hot? When you look at the AC, you wonder, oh wow, no wonder. Because, not because the AC cannot produce more cooling. The power can produce more cooling. But it's regulated by the thermostat. Thermostat says 25 degrees. Question, what is your belief in regulating the power of God in? Your believing is regulating the power of God. No wonder Jesus says, as you have believed, be it unto you. You know why? That thing can be a cause. Some say, what do you mean? Because some people say, it will happen somewhere in the future. And he says, not what you believe, but as. What you believe is something else. As you believe it. It's a combi- <laughs> Oh my God, let me explain something to you. As you believe is two things. It means what you believe and how you believe it. So you believe that, uh, this husband then, it's a very difficult but eventually, 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 in about two years, yeah, I'll marry. What you believe, and as you believe it, that's exactly how it happens. Is that not the same thing? You say, as you believe, be it unto you. Someone says, I'll be healed, but you know, you can't just be healed like that now. Uh uh-uh. uh. This thing will be gradually. As you have believed. Because you said it will be gradual. So it will come what? Gradually. But if you say, what nonsense? A number of these idiots right now instant listen to me the kind of testimony you see tonight kula nina matoria you say what because people's faith is catching fire how do you believe and what do you believe if you are not believing right start changing it if you are not believing right start what start changing it Are you here? Are you here? Why is faith powerful? Faith makes the impossible possible. Lazarus was dead. Faith brought him back to life. Water was turned into wine. That's what faith does. What is water? If business is not valuable, faith comes upon it, turns an invaluable business to valuable venture. So what do I do about my faith? What exactly is faith? Faith is not waiting on God to walk. Faith is putting the word to work. Did you hear what I said? Faith is not saying, I have faith, oh, Father, I have faith, oh, Father, I have faith. That's not faith. Faith is not waiting on God to work. Faith is putting the word to work. What does that mean? As soon as tomorrow you send out all the emails to everybody that's important, I'm back in business, I know you did me. I'm here now. Because you know that God has sent you favor before them. That's faith. Glory to God. I said 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 glory to God. God. That's faith. Faith is you wake up tomorrow morning, you've given up on applying on other jobs, you take your CV again, send to everybody. You say, why? Because I know you need me now. So faith is not waiting on God, faith is walking the word. 
what is faith as we are done praying for those that are sick on the instant you begin to do what you call you do it until you say wow i can't see it again that's faith because faith without works is dead until there's something that shows faith your faith is not complete Praise God. I said, Praise God. I said, Praise God. There was a cancer, there was a cancer patient. This cancer patient, um, doctor, what, what do they put them when they are going to die? When they say you are going to die, they move is another word. It's a what? What's it called? Hus? Hospice care. I, I don't know what they call it, but this lady, they've transferred that there. She told her sister. He said, if Pastor Bolaji can pray for me, I will be healed. She had, she had a cancerous tumor in her nose, inside this nose face area. I can show you the picture. Because when they sent the picture to me, I said, what? I could not look. The, the, the face looked like, like clay that is dry. Broken. The face was like broken face. It was so irritating. And she had mask on her body. She joined the London Connect meeting. And as we're praying, the sister said, she's here, sir. She's here, sir. I said, can she hear me? He said, she can hear, but she cannot talk. But she can use her finger that if she can hear, she will say yes. If she cannot hear, she will say no. That she will, because she condemned to death. I said, in the name of Jesus. You couldn't, you could tell this was pure death. You could tell that this, I said, come out of her. Four weeks after the lady sent me a mail. Just to let you know I've been discharged. He said, I'm now at home. He said, this is now my picture. Raw faith, sir. A lady gave birth to a child. The child was four, year, four months old and they developed a goiter. And um, one of those days, it was one of the I just wore like, you know, sometimes I wore this pullover jacket. And they, 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 they said, that, he said, sir, they want to operate my, my daughter. I said, I said, we well, said that she's over there in the hospital. I said, I, mean, I can't go to the hospital. I can send someone to go to the hospital with you. He said, Pastor, you don't have to go. This jacket you're wearing, give it to me. I gave her the jacket. She laid it on the child. By the next morning, shock disappeared. Praise God. I said, praise God. See, it's rough faith we are talking about. How do you go to Dubai and hold a crusade under one month and the horse is packed out? In a Muslim country, even the people that own the horses, you cannot feel it. I said, we can feel it. Why? All things are possible to him that believe it. We got to the hall. The man, the woman, the man said, we just had a chest on the ground floor because we cannot feel it. We got there. Because this is Dubai. NLP, we couldn't advertise. It's a Islamic country. If you advertise, they take away your visa. The churches there are all mushroom churches. Before you know it, they were arranging chairs in the gallery. Gallery packed out. People began to stand. Ah. So I said, How did you do it? It's faith, sir. It's not moving by what he's seen, it's moving by what he sees. We went into Abuja. Before this time, we don't have an existing cell in Abuja six months before this time. Three months before, no existing cell. First service, 1,500. Faith, sir. Faith, sir. Faith. See, but the faith was not that I was in Lagos. We are going to Abuja. We are going to Abuja. No. Faith is putting the word of God to test. As he said so, you test it. As he said so, you test it. As he said so, you test it. Test it in your business. Test it in your life. Test it in your finance. Test it. That lady that couldn't have a child for 10 years that gave her to triplet. Is she in the service? Are you here? The lady that couldn't have a child that gave her to triplet. Are you here? What? Maybe she's in the overflow. If you're here, find a way to get to the front. 10 years, no child. I came to the children's church. He said, you don't know me, sir. I said, I'm the lady that was bad in 10 years, no child. He said, I'm the one that now has triplets. Wow. 
When was your son healed, man? What? How old is he now? What? It will be 17 now. When, how, when was he healed? It was seven going to eight. Ten years. What? Give her the microphone. Give her the microphone. So that you, because some of you know this, that they're blah, blah. They just make it. These are social media stories. What, what are you talking about? Un, unedited testimonies. Are. Please come, come, come. Please come. What was the icon? It was seven years. How was his glasses when it was seven years? <laughs> It was thick. The glasses was thicker. At she, when did start using the glasses? Uh, started using him six. Six. six going to the glass was thicker than the bottom of a coke bottle. The doctor said his eye was. Dig- what did they say? No, you were, you were just told I can't read without his glasses. He cannot read without it. We and he pre- was the only one using glasses in his class then. So it was the only one professor. using glasses. They used to call him professor because how, how does a six-year-old child use glasses? That's when your eyes should be at the best. Is that not true? Yes. We well, kept in the service I did. Shh. The child is now he, going he to said be. He even said he believed. That was why he came up. Yes. How old is he now? He will be 17 by April. Is he still using glasses? No, not at all. It's 10 years. Not blah blah testimonies. Testimonies that stay. That same service, there was a sister. I don't know if she's here. The son was deaf. He was using hearing aid. Remember? What? Hearing aid. Pam! The father sent me a message. He said, it's almost 10 years now. He said, he said, he said when I call my son and he enters from the room, I say, see what the Lord has done. <laughs> glory to God. I said, glory to God. Thank you, man. All you have to do is to Take it by faith. Glory to God. What is faith? Faith is not passive. It's putting the word of God to test. At the end of the service, I'm going to challenge everyone to give the way they've never given before. Someone says, why? Because Hebrews 11 says, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. Even your giving shows the faith that you have. The reason I can give is simple because I believe that I can never be stuck. So if it says, Give this, I know I can never be stuck. Is there something going on there? You want to tell me something? Okay. I can never be stuck. Just imagine. The Bible says, why didn't Isaac, um, why didn't Esau give a good offering? He said, because he didn't have faith. He said, by faith. Let, let's look at that in the Bible. Let me just show you that scripture. That was my last scripture, actually. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4. Hebrews 11. See what the Bible says. It says, by faith, Abel offered unto God. What? If you believe that your finance is changing and you are really blessed, why would it be difficult to offer a sacrifice? The only reason why you don't respond to the giving call is this. Because you don't think it is possible. You think, let me hold it. Things will go bad. Let me hold it. Things will go bad. Why do you sell your cryptocurrency? Because you think it will go further down. You hold it because you know it will go up. Well, it's going to go for You sell. So, why don't you, why don't you give? Because you think you will lose everything. Praise God. Faith, sir. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Someone is changing levels today. Congratulations, it's your turn. Congratulations, it's your turn. I say, Congratulations, it's your turn. Congratulations, it's your turn. Congratulations, it's your turn. Let's stand on our feet and pray.